Chromatech Hydrogen Generator Maintenance Hydrogen Generator Versions Several models of generators that differ in capacity and pressure of hydrogen output are produced by Chromatech. The generator model name contains capacity measured in liters per hour and hydrogen output pressure measured in kilopascals. Production of hydrogen in the generator is based on the electrochemical decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen on a solid polymer electrolyte in an electrolysis unit through direct current. From the electrolysis unit, hydrogen saturated with water enters a separator where it separates from water. After that, through a pressure regulator that provides a small excess pressure in the separator when the generator is operating for the atmosphere. Hydrogen enters trier filters and then to a consumer. The 6140 and 10140 versions have one outlet line with hydrogen pressure of 1.4 kg per square centimeter. The 6400 and 10400 versions have two outlet lines with hydrogen pressures of 0.9 and 4 kg per square centimeter. The 10400 version, IHM, high purity model, includes an additional catalytic oxygen afterburner. The 6600, 16600 and 25600 versions have two outlet lines with hydrogen pressures of 0.9 and 6 kg per square centimeter. The 16600 and 25600 versions are equipped with hydrogen dryer. The 16600 and 25600 versions, IHM, high purity model, include an additionally installed hydrogen dryer and catalytic oxygen afterburner reactor. The 6400, 6600, 10400, 16600 and 25600 versions including the high purity model have an additional stage of pressure stabilization in the 0.9 kg per square centimeter line. Therefore, this line is advised to feed flame detectors. This video illustrates maintenance of the 25600 hydrogen generator version as an example. However, all the operations shown are pertinent to other generator models. Types of maintenance Current Periodic Current maintenance. Generator purity monitoring. Hydrogen pressure monitoring. Hydrogen water content monitoring. Water level monitoring. All monitoring operations are to be performed daily. Generator purity monitoring consists in its visual inspection. The generator should be especially protected against oil on its frame. Hydrogen pressure monitoring Pressure gauge in the hydrogen generator is not designed for measurements, therefore the use of pressure gauges with special units is allowed. This table shows the ranges of hydrogen pressure for different generator models. Hydrogen water content monitoring The generator is equipped with a filter indicator of water content in produced hydrogen. For normal water content in hydrogen, the color of the sore bent in the filter indicator is dark blue. As water content increases, the sore bent color changes to pink. Once the color of the indicator sore bent changes, it is necessary to condition the filters. Do not demand the filter indicator itself or incinerate the sore bent the rain. Conditioning the filters. The operation is performed. As per indications of the water content indicator. As flame detector's noise increases. Its frequency depends on the generator capacity. For the 25600 version, once in 4 days depending on the operating flow. For the 6140 version, once in 6 months. 
two or three filters, depending on the version. To disassemble the filters, we need wrenches. Disconnect the pipelines and unscrew fixing nuts. Remove the filters. Pour zeolite softly into a prepared container. Calcinate zeolite at temperatures within 400 degrees for 4 hours. Pour it into the filter after cooling down to 50-60 degrees. Assemble and connect filters in the reverse order. Water level monitoring. Water level should be between the minimum and maximum. As soon as the tank water level approaches the minimum allowable value, short beeps are heard, and the add water yellow indicator on the front panel is activated. In the meantime, the generator remains working. If the reservoir is empty, the red light indicator switches on which means an accident. Also, this indicator lights up in case of excess water in the separator. Water can be poured without turning off the generator and interrupting the analysis. To refuel the generator, use ionized water with the volume resistivity of at least 1 megaohm per centimeter a specific conductivity of not more than 1 micro siemens per centimeter. Periodic maintenance. Water renewal. Replacement of the ion exchange filter. Washing the reservoir. Separator maintenance. Voltage monitoring of the electrolysis unit sections. Water renewal. Frequency. Once a week. On the occasion of long breaks in work, more than a week. To easily drain water, use the tube supplied with the generator. Prepare a container to drain water. And screw the drain valve. Drain all water. Tighten the drain valve. Replacement of ion exchangers. Frequency ends every 1.5 years. When using insufficiently purified water, earlier replacement may be required. The ion exchange filters are to be purchased at the hydrogen generator factory. And screw the reservoir cap. Remove the ion exchange filter. When installing a new filter, make sure it does not touch water level sensors inside the reservoir. Washing the reservoir. Flush the reservoir once every 1.5 years, also if its walls are covered with deposit. Wash the reservoir twice with deionized water. If necessary, remove deposit from the reservoir walls with a lint-free cloth. If the red alarm indicator on the front panel is activated and a warning beep sounds while there is water in the tank, this means excess water in the separator or an accidental beep as indicated by separator sensors. The separator is a metal cylinder wherein hydrogen separates from water. There are two sensors inside, the long one and the short. They are separated from the body by fluoroplastic insulators. As soon as water level reaches the long sensor, the discharge valve opens, and water flows into the tank because of small surplus pressure in the separator. 
At the same time, the valve clicking is heard, one click per second. If the water discharge valve is defective or the filter in front of the valve is clogged, water does not flow over and water level reaches the short sensor. The valve starts to open twice per second. If within 20 seconds the water level does not decrease, the red alarm indicator on the front panel of the generator lights up and the buzzer sounds. If there are conductive impurities on the fluoroplastic insulators of the sensors, false alarms from the water discharge valve may take place. In this case, remove the sensors and clean the insulators. Washing the separator. Washing period, once every 1.5 years. When flushing the reservoir. By the end of the warranty period. After six months of the generator S storage. Before dismantling the separator, drain water from the reservoir. Disconnect the generator from the mains and unscrew the pipeline from the outlet fitting to discharge hydrogen pressure down to zero. Before disassembling the separator, wash your hands with soap or put on medical gloves. And screw the four screws on the top cover. Disconnect the ground terminal. Disconnect the contacts of the water level sensors. Mark the contacts to avoid connecting them incorrectly during assembly. And screw the sensors. Wipe them with alcohol and screw back into place. Remove the four screws on the side cover. Disconnect the ground terminal. Turn on the generator. Press the drain water button to drain it from the separator. As soon as water is removed from the separator, gas bubbles disappear in the transparent tubes. Disconnect the separator sensor terminals and the hydrogen outlet tube. Place a cuvette cloth under the separator to collect water. Disconnect the lower piping. and screw the fixing nut. Remove the separator. Remove the nut from the separator cover. 
Carefully disassemble the separator using tweezers. Diffusers, discs with holes, prevent formation of fog which can cause false alarms of level sensors. The number of diffusers differs for different generator models. The greatest number is in the 25600 generator. Place O-rings and gaskets in a cuvet and stainless steel parts in another one. Wash the parts with hot water using a clean sponge. Rinse the parts in cold ionized water. Drain water and dry the parts. Reassemble the separator in the reverse order. Monitoring of voltage on the sections of the electrolysis unit is performed each time during periodic maintenance. The obtained data allow estimating the degree of aging of the electrolysis unit. To perform the measurements, a voltmeter is needed. Carry out voltage measurements with the powered generator with the side cover removed. Take care to avoid electric shock, as well as short-circuiting that can cause the generator to malfunction. A voltmeter will be used to measure total voltage on the unit, and then the voltage on each cell. Information on the voltages on the sections of the electrolysis unit is filled in the certificate by the manufacturer. Turn off the hydrogen line to the chromatograph. Turn on the generator. Let it work into the atmosphere for two or three minutes. After that start measuring the voltage on the electrolysis unit cells. Voltage values differ for different models. As the generator keeps on working, the cell's voltage increases and its performance drops. As soon as the voltage measured on any cell exceeds 3.2 volts, this means the electrolysis unit lifetime is over, and it should be replaced. After carrying out maintenance operations, muffle the generator output, turn it on and wait until hydrogen pressure reaches the operating value. Turn off the generator. Wait for 10 minutes. If during this time pressure does not drop, this means the gas lines are tight. If the pressure drops, this indicates that the gas lines are leaking. Find the place of leakage by soaping. Get rid of the leak and wipe the place of soaping carefully. The last operation is to remove air from the filters. Turn on the generator and allow it to run for 30 minutes without connecting it to the chromatograph. Details on possible malfunctions of the hydrogen generator and troubleshooting advice are given in the operating instructions. Thanks for your attention.